Watkins. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. It is a thrill to be here tonight. We're going to attempt a little experiment this evening using two things, a deck of cards and your imaginations. Now, for this experiment, folks, we use a new deck of playing cards, and we use a new deck of playing cards because when we get a new deck of playing cards, they are arranged for us in what I call perfect new deck order. Now, we're not going to use all of the cards for this particular experiment. We are going to begin tonight with the clubs. And I'm going to place them one at a time into this glass so you can all see them nice and clearly. That, of course, is the 10. We have the 9, the 8, we have the 7, 6, the 5, the 4, the 3, the 2, and, of course, the Ace. The Ace through 10 of clubs in perfect new deck order. Now, from here on out, my friends, I will not touch the clubs, but I am going to lift them a little bit higher because I want you all to take a brief moment and burn this image into your heads. The image of the ace of clubs staring at you through that glass, yes? Try not to let that image go. Now, again, we will not touch these. These will sit under the protection of the hanky. And we're going to use 10 contrasting cards as we continue. Let's use the, uh, the diamonds. The ace through 10 of diamonds, again, in perfect new deck order, though these will not stay this way. Pen. Yes. If you don't mind, sir. I don't. Would you take, thank you, take the ace of 10 of diamonds. Uh -huh. You can hold them face down in front of you and just give them a little mixed pen, a little bit of a shuffle. That's right. It doesn't have to be anything fancy, sir, but if you would, make sure you completely change the order of those 10 cards. I will. Do you feel like those are adequately shuffled? I do. Would you hand them to Teller, please? Teller, if you don't mind, give him another cut, just for good measure. Ah, yeah, see? That's the one that's gonna do me in. Good work. <laughs> give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, gentlemen. Hello. We have the ace through 10 of diamonds in a new and different order. Thank you, gentlemen. They are now the only cards we will use. Hello. Hello. What is your name? Ariana. Ariana. Yes. Lovely. Ariana, I'm going to move my finger around this fan just like this. And as I do that, as I move my finger around the fan, I would love it if you would simply call out the word stop at any point. Stop. Right there. We're going to take that card, Ariana, turn it over, and put it right back in, yeah? That gives us just a little bit more chaos in the bunch. And these come over here in a glass number two. Now, ladies and gentlemen, it would be amazing to fool Penn and Teller. But my goal is a little bit simpler. I hope only to spark your sense of wonder, to ignite your imagination, because I believe that your imagination is a very powerful thing. And I believe that if you allow it, it can literally change the way you see the world in front of you. For example, when last you looked over here, you saw the ace of clubs facing you. But if you tried to see something different, and I mean really try to see something different, perhaps you look over here and you spot the five of diamonds. So instead of the ace of clubs, folks, you imagine the five of clubs to match. It is possible that your imagination just might convince you that it is so. Even though you know behind that ace of clubs sat the two of clubs, if you tried to see something different, perhaps you look over here behind the five of diamonds and you spot the eight of diamonds, and you then imagine that all of the clubs have changed order to follow suit, that would mean that over here you saw the eight of clubs. If you really tried, if you really tried behind those eights, you might see aces. After aces, maybe tens. After tens, possibly nines. After nines, maybe threes. After threes, two cards that can do one. And you would remember, Ariana, that you selected one, we turned it around, we put it right back in. That, ladies and gentlemen, was the four of diamonds. And over here, we have the four of clubs. In fact, that, that is all 10 cards.
Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, well, we both love this. We oh, both thank absolutely you. love. We're both very sympathetic good, to the good. whole trick. It was just it's just wonderful. But I got to tell you, you know, this is something that's often forgotten in magic. Uh, magicians get a really wonderful trick, and they try to add so many jokes to it, or add a story to it, or say, you know, these aren't actually cards. These are my Tibetan masters on <laughs> sleds going down in fire. What I love about this, it's like you know, it's like TV's Law and Order. It's just procedural. Here's what I'm gonna do. And I did it. Right. I really like that. It's often easy to forget with magicians that simply doing the trick and explaining it as you go is a wonderful way of doing it. We loved it all the way through. And you know, uh, uh, Teller and I have been known to lie. But in this case, we're not two-faced. We're telling you the absolute truth. Uh -huh. We just loved it from beginning to end, man. Terrific. Well, thank you very much, gentlemen. It's a thrill. Wait, was there some sort of code word in there? There might have been. Oh, man, that's good. So you understand that they know how you did? I do indeed, and they do indeed. Man, you guys are good. All wonderful, right. wonderful. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah. Thank you very much.